Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome. I just wanted to come on and say, when people walk out your life, let them walk out. When God is elevating you, everybody can't go with you to the next level. Sometimes we want to allow people to stay in our life and God didn't ordain them to stay in our life. It's like we hold on to them. We have that attachment. It could be a friend. It could be a boyfriend. It could be a girlfriend. It could be soul ties. Whatever it is, you want to hold on to that person. And God's saying, God is telling you, I don't need that person to be a part of your life. I can't take you to the next level if you leave this person in your life. So sometimes instead of doing what we want to do, we need to start listening to what God wants us to do. So if they want to walk out your life, if God wants to remove them from your life, if they're toxic to your life, life, allow God to remove them. Stop trying to keep people in your life that do not belong in your life. And the problem is because we get so emotional and we are caring creatures because we are humans that we care so much about their friendship or their relationship but god is telling you to remove that person so stop trying to leave people in your life that don't belong there when god is getting ready to elevate you he's going to remove some people he's getting ready to take it to the next level he's going to remove some people allow him to remove those people out of your life so that he can take you to the next level i know from experience and i'm gonna be transparent i was hanging with people that were not on my level um I didn't think I was better than them or anything, but it's like I was trying to do things in my life and they were not trying to do things in their life. And I wanted to hold on to them because I cared and I was trying to help them build their lives. And then God was like, you got to let them go. I can't take you to the next level until you let them go. So some folks, you're going to have to just let go. And if they want to walk out your life, oh, well, so be it. Let them go. Don't chase after them. Don't run after them. Do not worry about it. It's always because when God removes those people out of your life and you, he takes you to the next level, God is going to place better people in your life. I know all of my old friends that were toxic that God removed from my life. Now I have a brand new circle and God has continued to elevate me and elevate me and elevate me. I have friends that support me. They push me. They motivate me. They check on me. They help me build and I help them build. Whenever I need them, I can call and say, hey, such and such, I need you. Can you help me with this? And they're there for me. With my old friends, I was the one that was always there. It was like I was giving, 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 and I was getting nothing in return. So sometimes God is allowing these people to walk out your life, and he's removing these people out of your life because when he elevates you, they can't go. It's like y'all y'all not on the same level. Y'all don't have that same connection. So allow them to walk out your life. Allow God to remove them. Don't try to keep them there. Don't chase them. If they want to go, bye. Let them go. Tell them bye. That's what I did. Stay out that mess. Stay out that drama. Stay out that confusion. Because God can't elevate you when you're in mess, drama, and confusion. Stay out of it. Allow them to do that mess, that drama, and that confusion by themselves. You don't have to be a part of it. Allow God to elevate you to the next level. And then when they see you shining, they're going to be like, whoa, how'd she get there? Whoa, how'd he get there? I know my toxic friends that I had, um, they tried to reach out to me. And I'm like, wait a minute now. God bless you, but you can't be a part of my life. Because as God continues to elevate me, I don't want you to be a part of it. But what I will do is I will be a blessing to you by giving you wisdom on lives with my books. I'll bless you whatever it is you need to. But you can't go to that level with me. You can't be. We can't be friends no more. We don't connect anymore because God has removed you from my life for a reason. Don't try to reconnect with me. And that's another thing that we always do. We try to reconnect with people that God removed from our life. Why are we trying to reconnect? It could be an old boyfriend, old girlfriend, old friends. Whatever. We try to reconnect with those people. And God just be like, you dummy. I told you. I'm taking you to the next level. I don't need them to be a part of your life. So when God removes them, let them remove them. When they walk out, let them walk out of your life. Because you can do all things through Christ to strengthen you. You have, you have strength through Christ. You don't need them to strengthen you. You don't need them to take you to the next level. You don't need them to trust God. You can build on your own. Allow God to help build you and take you to the next level. You don't need them. Let them walk out your life. Let them, let them be toxic on their own. Let them create that drama, that confusion, or whatever it is by themselves. Again, when God removes people from your life, Allow him to remove them so that he can elevate you and take you to the next level. If they walk out your life, let them walk out your life. Stop trying to chase after people. Stop trying to kiss people butt or behind or whatever you want to call it. And making them stay in your life when God doesn't desire them to be a part of your purpose. Walk in your purpose. Blossom up and bloom where you have been planted. This is Crescendria James. And I just want to say that 
I love you guys. I'm praying for you and that God is going to take care of you. Don't worry about those people that have walked out your life. Don't worry about those people that are turning their backs on you. Don't worry about those people that talk about you. God is going to take care of you. Have a wonderful and blessed evening.